Hello, my fellow Minecraft players. Let's talk about a piston trap. Piston trap's pretty cool. It's uh, kind of a secret thing, but it's something you can use to trap your friends using pistons. So let's go make it. Now, I prefer to use stone for piston traps, so you can use whatever you want. The reason why I like it is because I, I like to use stone pressure plates. So that, of course, is one thing we're going to need to build this. We're also going to need the pistons. Uh, sticky pistons, that is. Redstone. Redstone torches. Redstone repeater and boop, stone. Now you go find the place where you want to put it and say, hmm, this looks good. Maybe it'll fall in right here. So what you want to do is you want to have a four wide space. One, two, three, four. And then on the end is where you put the sticky pistons. One, two, three, four. Boop, 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 boop. And then remove the blocks on the inside. Okay, so that's where they'll go. Now, also we want to put our pit. And you can use whatever you want in this pit. The most common one is probably lava. But you know, you can put things like spider webs if it's not meant to kill people, but just, you know, annoy them. Or water, you know. And you can potentially kill them with water if water's all the way to the top. But in our case, we're going to use lava. Now, one thing important to know about when using lava is you don't want to have it too close to the surface because they'll hear it and they might suspect a trap. So you can make it deeper, it's more quiet, and maybe they won't suspect a trap. Okay, we've got the lava in there now. So the next part is decide where the stone pressure plates go. Now, if you just want to put it on one side, you can put it here. Or if you want it on both sides, you put it on both sides. For the purpose of our trap, we're just going to do one. And then we're going to dig down. Sorry. Just so we can see. Want the redstone underneath. Now, on the ends of that, I want to place two blocks and two redstone torches. Then, a repeater on both sides. Now, ticket. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we want the redstone that comes up to meet the redstone next to these pistons. Great. Do, do, do. That works. Do, do, do. Ha ha! Looking good. Now, cover the remains so people can't tell that there's a secret trap here. Now the important thing is you want to make it look natural. So don't make it exactly perpendicular because then it looks kind of constructed and artificial. You know, make some blocks uneven. Of course, um, it's nice to make these too high. You want to try to make it so people are less likely to try to scale over the top of these. There. Maybe I'll go like that. fairly natural. One other thing is sometimes the pressure plates can be seen. Let's replace this all with stone. Make that all stone. See, sometimes they don't blend as well. You can also use tripwire hooks if you want to use those instead. This works really well if it's in a dark place or if it's nighttime. And suppose someone's walking along, they say, do, 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 do. Oh, this is nice. Oh my gosh! Ah! And they die right here. Too bad. Quite simple, but that's all there is to it. Let's, uh, let's make it daytime just because I don't want to be able to see what I'm doing. Pretty fun little trap, wouldn't you say? And you can put that on this side too if you want. And it's done. That's all there is to it. And that creates this wonderful redstone trap. And you're welcome to make it yourself. Pretty cool. Anyways, that's it, guys. So, bye.